Howdy folks, Greyhawk 4 4 coming at you again, your resident vintage gamer, and it's Beer 30, Schlancha. Obviously I'm saying Schlancha because I'm drinking a Guinness. So it just seemed appropriate rather than saying cheers. So um, that is my uh, ale of choice for tonight. Um, I'm like 33% Irish, so I enjoy my Guinness uh, immensely. So, um, I got three things to talk about for this beer, this episode of Beer 30. Uh, but the very first one is going to be indirectly involving all of you that watch my videos, uh, but it is more directly directed at YouTube itself. So if anybody by any stretch, uh, you know, any, any miracle ever sees this at, from YouTube, uh, I would, I would, uh, like for you to, uh, take notice and hopefully fix this. Uh, I have noticed that in the last, mm, say 10 videos or so that I have done, uh, I have seen several I, notifications that I get that say, oh, there's been a comment on your video and I can see the, the, the some of the comments, sometimes it's cut off, but I can see some of it in the notification. And then I click on it, which should take me to the YouTube, to my YouTube page or to the YouTube studio so I can see the full comment. And it says, comment is no longer available. That has happened to several of my most loyal viewers uh, with legitimate comments that they're, or questions that they're leaving. And I've actually confirmed it on live saying, Hey, did you delete your comment? And they say, no, we didn't, I didn't delete it or whatever. Um, so I can only assume that YouTube, uh, in its, uh, it's bots wisdom that I guess there's some bot that looks for spam and so forth. Um, for whatever reason flags those as spam or something and deletes them. It used to put them in another category called held for review and which would allow me to click on that tab and then I could see the ones and I could say, no, that's not spam, approve it. Wait, that is spam, delete it. I could do that. Now, there's never anything in there for held for review. It just shit cans it right out of the gate. I never even get the opportunity to approve it or whatever. So, YouTube, fix your shit, okay? Now, what I have done... Today, I went through and did a deep dive on all my settings and all that stuff. And there was a, a section which allows me um, to change to, to allow all comments. Now, what that's going to do, and I checked it. It's going forward. That's what it's going to be. But that just means that all the spam and shit's going to get through. So I'll have to manually go through and police all the spam myself. Um, and there's a lot of it. There, There's a lot of Russian shit that comes through and with... with you know, websites and all this bullshit that comes through. And YouTube does catch all that stuff and filter it out. Um, but I'll have to do that manually because I would rather do that than have my loyal viewers have their their comments just arbitrarily cut out. Now, the most recent, uh, and I took a picture of it because I of the, of the notification with my phone um, so that uh, I could read it. Cause it's our, it's gone. Um, and it's from John, uh, Zydek. And, uh, he says, this is on my last video where I, I went over the campaign review for the last episode of our gaming campaign. And he says, uh, geez, this had the appearance of a TPK total party kill. Uh, it always does when the party gets there, uh, how they react determines everything. And then he signs it with his discord handle, which, so I'm glad I was able to capture it and get a picture of it. So now I can I can put him on Discord uh, and so forth. Whether or not he wants me to share that, with, I mean, he put it as a public comment, but I'm still not going to just say it. So, um, but John, if you're listening, uh, you can comment below if you do, and you can put it down again. I have all comments now turned on, so doesn't matter, it all should get through now. So, anyway, that was the first thing I wanted to get out of the way because that was pissing me off about. Um, I had Rob, John. Uh, and there was a couple others. I can't, that don't, uh, Mistra might be been one of them. Um, 
There's been a few of you guys that have had comments that just poofed, disappeared. So, anyway, that's enough of that. We're done with that. Um, so, anyway, uh, back to pleasant things. I hope that you're watching this. Uh, I'm doing this late at night because my wife just got home, and I usually wait for her to get home before I have a beer in case there was, like, she broke down or something. I had to go get her. I want to be able to do that. So I usually wait till she gets home. And uh, so I hope that you are probably watching this tomorrow night uh, while you're having something refreshing. Uh, Guinness. One day I'll be in Ireland and I'll be able to get a true one right from the tap there in Dublin. So uh, The other thing I want to talk about. A couple times. There's two more, I think. How did this get damaged? Wait a second here. Huh. Somehow, I just realized this. Oh, that's from a die. There must have been a, a die in here. So anyway, I just realized I was... Uh, I had somebody ask me about Call of Cthulhu. I have played Call of... I played one... Uh, one session was uh, we had it right here uh and our buddy Niels um he is a game master for um Cthulhu and uh he actually I swear this box has been opened or something cuz this doesn't look right either but anyway um this is the this is the starter set and I bought this because I thought that uh we would be playing more Cthulhu when um, when COVID was at its height, you know, and we were doing everything digitally. We were doing Roll20 for D&D &D and so forth. Um, Neil's had a Call of Cthulhu uh, campaign going through Roll22. And I just found that one night a week on Roll20 was about all I could take of, of the, the digital gaming thing. It just wasn't my thing. So... I just didn't partake in that. Um, I wanted to, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So, um, anyway, so the one session we played here, uh, I played, my character was a security officer, and uh, which felt um, for, familiar for me because I was, I was a contract security person for years uh, at Universal Studios, and I did executive protection and all that stuff. So I was like, oh, pfft. I got this. I can. I'll play the security officer, no problem. And so the mistake I made was, I played it uh, like I would if I was working as a security person, as an executive protection, whatever uh, person. Um, and there was like this weird monster that appeared, and I just thought, well, I, I, we, I believe we got the VI, the person we were protecting, we got heard of safety, like locked, locked behind somewhere safe. And then I went back out, of course, to confront this thing. Cause that's what you do as a security officer. You go, um, and deal with the threat. And, uh, yeah, that didn't go well. I was, I, my character was killed instantly. It was like, I was like eviscerated or some shit. That was my, that was my, uh, only experience with Cthulhu. And then the rest of the, the game, you know, I was there to observe the rest of the session and there was a couple people that survived. And I, you know, of course, after the fact, I realized, oh, Cthulhu uh, isn't like any other game where, uh, you know, that you're this badass uh, com combatant that's going to do battle with all that. No, 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 no. Uh, it's about survival and trying to figure out, uh, uh, unravel the mystery and the riddle that somehow will vanish or vanquish the bad thing um through through the um extraneous means other than just regular combat because combat ain't gonna do it that's that's what i took from it um i found that out the hard way so anyway so to answer um i think it was rob that asked uh about if, if i had played cthulhu um and that's your answer. I have not played the video. I know there's a video game um, by the same name, and I'm assuming that it's uh, uh, it's kind of like the Pathfinder, you know, computer version of Pathfinder and so forth. I have not done that yet, so uh, that answers that question. Um, 
the and then the other topic that I wanted to talk about was uh, I had a, a buddy of mine who watches all my videos, of course, and he wanted to know about the Giants campaign as well. And he asked, you know, well, uh, if that whole compound is like a giant lodge that has been built by the Giants, uh, made out of wood, timber, or whatever, why didn't the characters just burn it down? And uh, there's a good reason for that. They had even talked about it. Just burning the damn place to the ground. But, if you remember, one of the one of the primary NPCs in my campaign, Dorian Lightfoot, my old player character, the leader of the Thieves Guild in Deavers, um, his wife was abducted during a giant raid a couple years earlier, and he has been asking the players, our, our current group, to go and rescue her from the giants if she's still alive. Hopefully she's, no one knows. And he says, if she's still alive, can you go get her? And the party finally got leveled up to the point where they're strong enough to possibly do this. If it wasn't for her possibly being in the stronghold, they would have burnt the damn thing down. That would have been the first thing they probably did. They would have just burned it down. And it, and that is a legitimate strategy, I would think. But um, I, I added some spice to the campaign by saying, well, you know, uh, Dorian, who is like their ultimate benefactor, like in Deavers, uh, for, for if they can to rescue his wife, if she's still alive. So that's why they have it. So that's why now they're, they're stuck trying to, through attrition and guerrilla warfare, trying to thin the herd on, on the giants here to, to make it inside and so forth. So Anyway, those uh, I said that I would do uh, as part of my filming schedule uh, that we would do uh, Tuesdays would be Beer 30, where I would do a Q&A. And these are the uh, questions that I that came through in the last couple of days. Um, that, And so, true to my word, that's what we're going to do on Tuesday nights. Uh, we'll have a beer, and we'll talk about that kind of stuff. Um, one other thing, uh, real quick, that we can talk about. Uh, if you've been following the New World MMO uh, launch and subsequent derailment, it started out okay other than the server queue issues and so forth, but it is to the point now, the game is completely unplayable. Completely unplayable. There's no point in playing the game right now. Now, the good news is, there's no subscription for New World, so the player's um, that bought it can literally just wait for them to patch it, get it fixed, and so forth. It's probably way too far past too many hours. They probably played too many hours to refund to return it for a refund on Steam. But they're not paying. They're not stuck paying some kind of subscription or having to cancel a subscription and so forth. But now go into a little bit of detail. The the bugs. It's the way it's coded apparently. Uh, which allows the users through the chat box of all things to actually do coding through the chat box, which has allowed them to do all kinds of exploits. And every time Amazon fixes one of these, if I, you know, it gets notified about this exploit for duping gold or whatever it is, and they it, it, they're playing whack-a-mole because they they get this one and then two more exploits pop up. It is an architecture thing. It's from what I, the way it's been explained to me on the videos I've seen and so forth, it's an architecture. The way it was designed, coded, everything. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to have to take the damn thing down, completely rework it, or just shit can it completely and refund people. I don't know what they're going to do. Um, but it's unplayable at this point. Um, and I see, I made a post today on the New World forums. I said, I'm taking a break from it. And I won't go back now until it's fixed, because there's no point. They had to turn off. They had to turn off all tra transfer of wealth, meaning the the trading post, like the auction hall. They had to close that down. Players couldn't trade between themselves. Like they two players saw each other, couldn't trade. Um, uh, 
there's no transfer of wealth. And there's no NPCs in the game to buy anything from. You get everything on the trading post. You need health potions, you got to make them. Let's say you need some components to make them. You either got to go farm them or you buy them on the trading post. There is no vendors that sell anything on the game. So with the trading post being shut down, you're stuck with you got to go farm it. And if you can't find it, then you can't make whatever it is that you're trying to craft. Um, yeah, it's the game's broken. It, it just is. So um, anyway, that's the update on New World in case you were wondering. And I was a big fan of it. I still am. I still have have fun in the game. I, I think the game is going to... If if they say, okay, fuck it. We're going to we're gonna shut the game down temporarily while we fix all this shit. Rework the architecture. Rework the coding. Whatever they got to do. Um, and then we're going to relaunch. Um, that might be their only hope. I don't see them this whack-a-mole thing. I, I think it's an exercise in futility. Like they say, it's like shoveling shit against the tide, you know, or spitting into the wind. You know, it's just gonna it's just gonna come right back at you. You know, I don't think I don't think the whack a mole thing is, is they're gonna ever be able to get caught up. It just doesn't look like it anyway. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, that should do it for this beer thirty. I hope that clarifies things on the comments that got deleted. I have never deleted, not that I know of. If, if, if I've deleted anything, it was always spam. But I've never deleted a legitimate question or comment from one of my viewers. So, um, there you go. Uh, and hopefully now I've got all comments. Now, of course, I'll be dealing with all the fucking spam and shit. But whatever. You know. I'd rather deal with that than have you guys not be able to comment. So, comment away now. Don't have to worry about your shit getting taken down. Alright, guys. We'll catch you on the flip side.